Hello everyone, welcome to Radically Loved Radio. I wanted to create a place where people can go to to get inspired, get motivated, or find some clarity and get tools to create a radically loved life. I will do my best to provide information on a variety of subjects, including yoga, holistic health, life coaching, spirituality, meditation, and overall mindful living. Each episode will bring you some of the world's best spiritual leaders, entrepreneurs, yoga teachers, coaches, along with some of my closest friends, and we will talk about their life experiences and journeys to create something more out of their lives and how they continue to grow to make that happen. Hey guys, Rosie here. I just want to say I am so grateful that you're listening. We are just getting a massive amount of response on this podcast, and I am so grateful that you're a part of this radically loved community, that you're enjoying the content and that you're enjoying all the guests and that you're still here and you're still working on yourself and your journey and your path. And I pray that you've received some tools listening to the guests or listening to any of my ideas or topics on meditation or yoga and how these tools can help you create a life of purpose to continue to help us give you the best content, you can subscribe to this podcast. And most of the time you can just do it from your phone, from iTunes, click subscribe and write a review. This really helps us continue this path and this journey. And we love doing it so much. And again, I'm so grateful that you're here. Let us know what you thought. Thanks for listening. Hello, 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 everyone. I want to talk to you all today about something that's so important, especially during this first month of the year, and that is how to train yourself to stay focused. This is something that I struggle with a lot, and regardless of all of the feats I've accomplished I always have had a hard time being able to stay focused. So it's a common problem. Switching between browser tabs and apps on your phone and checking social media and messages and emails and thinking about the million things you have to do, but you continuously put them off. So anything but staying focused on one task at a time. Can anyone relate to this? Am I alone? As hard as it is to break out of this mental habit of switching, being distracted, and letting the monkey mind jump from one shiny thing to the next, how do you train your mind to stay more focused? Is it possible to get better at focusing? Uh, You know, expecting to be focused 100% of the time or 80% of the time, even 50% of the time, is, is, I think maybe close to impossible. I don't know. Uh, I think that more than ever now, if we have the intention to keep more of our focus on a task, even if the goal is 60%, I think that we would really begin to see the effectiveness of uh, anything that we do. So recently, I took one of my clients through this uh, area of, of improving uh, her focus and we we set her up with a plan and I want to talk to you guys about what uh, what the plan was and maybe you all can benefit from doing the same thing. So the first thing I always say is we have to start with why. So why should you care about this? It's best to give this a moment's thought before diving into any plan. So this is whatever plan in your life because when things get uncomfortable, you have to know your why. Otherwise, you'll crumble at the first urge to switch. Any distraction that comes by, you're just going to take it. This is important because constant switching and distraction leads to you being totally just disheveled and you can squander away your attention. And here's the deal. Think about all the things that you want to do. Think about your why. Think about why you're wanting to do what you're doing. You know, your your life is too precious to be wasting your time. So stay focused on the task. And it doesn't matter how big or small the task is. Me personally, I like to focus on the little ones because if I do a lot of little ones, then it, it makes me feel a little bit more confident at tackling the bigger tasks at hand. At least some of the day 
will help you to get more of the important things done. So either that's writing or studying or taking care of your finances or cleaning your home or creating any kind of, of anything. So those things tend to get pushed back. So think about the things in your life that seem to be weighing on you, that you, you keep feeling like you keep putting off. Allowing yourself to stay on task will increase your effectiveness with most of the important things and, and you'll, you'll be taking leaps and bounds. If you're feeling stressed out by all that you have to do, unhappy with your lack of focus, then this one skill will help you turn around in a big way. So that was kind of a big uh, wordy way of saying that just really <laughs> focus on your why find out why you're doing what you're doing. Don't let it get, don't let the issue get bigger than you are. Okay. So here's the method. It's very simple. So the first thing you want to do is pick an MIT. First thing in the morning, before you get on your phone or online, think about what you need to do. What would make the biggest difference in your life? Your work? If you have several, it doesn't matter. Just randomly choose one for now. You can get the others later. Don't waste your time in indecision. This is a, a habit we all do. We start to think about all the things instead of just thinking of one. The point is to practice with one task. This one task you choose for today is your MIT, most important task. Number two, do a 15-minute focus session. As soon as you start working for the day, maybe after getting ready or eating or doing a little yoga and meditation practice or whatever, clear away all your browser tabs, applications, and anything you don't need for your MIT for today. Start a timer even. That's what I do on my phone. I start a timer for 15 minutes. That's it. Number three, you only have two choices. For these 15 minutes, you cannot switch to anything else. No checking email, messages, social media, doing other work tasks, cleaning your desk. All of a sudden, you remember that you like to have a clear workspace. So don't get distracted. You can only A, work on your MIT, or B, sit there and do nothing. Those are your only options. Watch your urges to switch, but don't follow them. Just observe. Number four is report to an accountability partner. So many of you have emailed me asking me to, uh, how do you find an accountability buddy or if I could be an accountability partner? And, and I love to do that. So if, if you're listening to this and you want to reach out to me on social media is best, Instagram, send me a message and I'll totally be your accountability partner. Just tell me what it is that you're tackling. But I think this is very important. I have several for different things. So my client is going to succeed in, a lar in large part because she has me to keep her accountable. So find a partner who will keep you accountable. Create an online spreadsheet or use an accountability app or whatever it is uh, that, that you need to do in order for you to, to have this focus. After your focus session each day, you'll be able to check out what you did. And that's it. So one focus session a day or for at least two weeks. If you do great, add a second focus session each week or each day. With a 10-minute break in between sessions, if you have any trouble at all, stick to one session a day. So that's just one, one section of, of 15 minutes a day that you're really dedicating to this particular task. After six weeks or two months, you should see uh, a, a fairly good uh, progress. Um, and I think that's it's super helpful and it, it gives us an opportunity to really be able to focus on creating things in our lives with substance and with meaning and it makes it a lot harder for us to become distracted. So any little effort should be celebrated. Don't beat up on yourself if you happen to just make it to nine minutes or 10. It doesn't matter. What matters most is your effort. And again, you're your biggest cheerleader. Find people that are going to help you succeed and stay focused, minimize your distractions. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope to talk to you all soon.